I'm closed. And open up. Merry Christmas! Woo! Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the air fryer. Now clean up your mess. Aww. It is a little messy. Oh, and you had to record it too? How funny. How, how, how funny you are. <laughs> now she can stay in her room. She can plug it in in there. <laughs> Today was going to be all about the GameStop 10-inch Joker. I know you know which one I'm talking about. It's the only 1989 10-inch Joker that's the GameStop exclusive. That was going to be today's video. But then this came in. And I could just get this one out of the box and we could just talk about this one. Or I could grab the other black light Jimi Hendrix pop to compare it to and then I can also grab maybe we'll grab Carnage and we'll talk about Carnage a little too but I think we're gonna do this whole video under a black light and there is a lot of first going on in this video there is a lot of first going on in this video so this is going to be the first time that I've ever done a video under a black light. So I'm, I probably look just super crazy at this moment. This is also going to be the first time I've ever done a video on a shotgun mic. So this is going to be the DD3. I just recently picked this guy up. This is this is one of those things where I'm trying to like up my production just a little bit. So you'll have to tell me down below what you think about the sound quality. Is it cool? Is it not cool? Do you want me to go back to the other mic? You, you throw a comment down there and let me know. This should be, this this should be the other black light Jimi Hendrix. And I think that they're they're calling this one, I can't remember exactly what they're calling this one, but there's a name for this one, right? I, I'm, I'll have to see it to, to remember the name of it because it has something to do with his face. Once again, they're putting them in this weird box. Anytime, I guess now you're buying these in a two pack, they put them in this rather weird like protector in the weird box i don't i don't know it's super weird but it gets it here protected so i'm not complaining it's just a a weird weird thing <laughs> i am excited excited to get these guys out of the box and to take a closer look at them and i brought carnage over so maybe we could compare carnage's box with their box i don't i don't really plan on getting carnage out of the box but i'd, I'd like to see the evolution of the boxes because Carnage was very, very early on into the black light pops. We're only gonna have to get one of these guys, as you could tell. I have two of them though, and I want to say that they were calling him Blue Face or or something to that effect. There was there was some term that was being used for this one versus versus this one. Oh man, you can see that they're already popping under the black light pretty hardcore. I'm really into both of these guys. They look like they're the exact same box with the difference of being the pop that is on him. So I don't see any differences in the boxes to talk about. I mean, other than the fact, like I said, you could tell that it's a different pop, right? I mean, so I... Oh, we definitely got to get them out of the box. This is what I'm going to say is that the coat on the Funko Shop exclusive versus the con variant is is a lot cooler. I mean, the, the code on the, oh, I, I got it. I got to, I, I can't stand it. I got to get them both out of the box and we're gonna have to definitely take a closer look at both of these guys to just see exactly what they look like. Now, I, I did manage to tear that box a little bit as I was opening it. Don't tell anyone though, I mean, because I'm gonna keep it in my collection and we're gonna act like that didn't happen even though it, it, it can't be called mint anymore. <laughs> it's okay though. That is okay. Let's let's take a closer look at this one. The coat on this guy is pretty badass. I can't complain about the coat at all. Funko really did a good job at getting that green coat on there, and there's different colors of green, so it gives you the pop of the 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 accents and the the nuances to the coat really are brought out really well because they use two different color greens versus just painting it all one color green and it's almost a yellowish green really 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 nice I like his hair honestly in this one a lot more than I did in the other one I think in the other one that maybe they were trying a little too hard in that one and they took it way over the top 
We're gonna get this one out of the box though so that we can we can compare the two together because I know that that's what you're here for. You want to see how these look together. I wanna see how they look together as well. I am a huge Jimi Hendrix fan. If, if you are as big a Jimi Hendrix fan as I am, throw a comment down below and just tell me how big of a Jimi Hendrix fan you are. Before I get like much into this one though, let's let's compare the two boxes. So it, let's let's go one exclusive versus another exclusive. The boxes on the Marvel versus this one are completely different. I mean, they they are completely different in a lot of ways, and then they're the exact same in some other ways. So as you can see, the front of the boxes are almost almost identical with the exception of the the patterns and the colors right the same thing goes with the top they're almost identical with the exception of the patterns and the colors when you get to the side of the box though you you kind of can start to see that there's there's still some difference but not a whole lot of difference there's there's still like a design in there the back of the box is where it gets completely different though that's that's where you're going to see the separation like you've never seen before the black of the box the back of the black of the box the back of the box on the carnage is the space scene which almost is like very very suiting to a black light pop and then you get into the Jimi Hendrix and is a very psychedelic which would have been which would have been very suiting for the era in which Jimi Hendrix would have been around and his popularity would have been growing so it makes sense for what they did but they are two completely different boxes but I think equally as cool at the end of the day both of them have a, a, a presence to them that I feel that if it's in your collection you're gonna really appreciate the artwork the time and the energy that went into creating these guys now this is what I was saying just a second ago on this one versus this one i kind of prefer the black hair versus the the rainbow thing that they have going on just because it it almost goes a little too far out there but because it's Jimi hendrix it makes sense i feel like if they do this on other pops but we know that they're going to that it's going to to start making less and less and less sense when they do this but for this one it makes sense but i do prefer the black over the the rainbow hair the coats, the, the pants, the shoes, the guitar, everything is exactly the same with the exception of the colors that they made it. Both of these pops at the end of the day are exactly the same. They made them completely different colors though and that's what sets them apart. I am really excited to have both of these guys in my collection and maybe coming up soon I'm going to do a whatnot auction and kind of get rid of all of the twosies that I have. I mean I order everything in twos that way I can I can pick the better one for the collection and and then I get to, to pass on the other one to, to, to you great guys out there. Before we get out of here though don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications and become part of the Wayne Co. crew. There is no way in co-crew without you, and I truly, truly appreciate you coming and hanging out with me today. Until next time, have a good one. Sit. Sit. Stay. Stay. Thank God, I gotta get this black light off. I think it's trying to blind me, if we're being completely honest. I am convinced that the black light is trying to take me out at this moment. <laughs> Have a good one.